Torrential rain hit entire West Japan. It caused tremendous damage to the lifeline. Nihon Genryo Water Rescue Team was sent to Uwajima City as requested by the government and the municipality. Seven units of our movable water treatment device, mobile siphon tank, were delivered there with the self-defense forces support. Nihon Genryo provided the water for a total volume of 4,100 cubic meter per day and supplied it to 6,500 households, which means 15,000 people. The heavy rain caused a landslide. It totally destroyed the water purification plant. The control tower and the sedimentation tank were also destroyed. The power station, the AC mix tank, and the rapid sand filter were all destroyed. The water treatment plant stopped functioning. At last, it was decided not to restore. On July 9, Nihon Genryo formed a water rescue team as soon as possible. On July 12, we responded promptly upon a request of MSD dispatch. On July 17, we attended the conference among the relevant organizations. On July 19, we discussed the logistics of our devices. The preparation for installing mobile siphon tanks started at Yoshida and Nima. Six mobile siphon tanks were dispatched to disaster striking area and delivered from the warehouse of Nihon Genryo. On July 21st, six mobile siphon tanks were delivered to the site. Next day, we started installing mobile siphon tanks. Four mobile siphon tanks were installed in Mima. After inputting filter media, siphon screw was connected to the device. Water intake, raw water, filtered water, back washing, and draining were connected to siphon tank. Operational acceptance test of electricity was conducted at the same time. Back washing pump was inserted to the reserve tank. At the same time, two mobile siphon tanks were installed in Yoshida as well. In the meantime, a large siphon tank was loaded onto the special vehicle of the self-defense force at Takahagi factory and headed to Yoshida. ST-3000 was sent out from our factory on July 24 and arrived at Yoshida of Uwajima City in the early morning of July 26. Next day, the large siphon tank was installed at Yoshida. Mobile siphon tanks were readjusted to provide drinking water to people in Mima. The government and the local government officials visited the disaster striking area and supported the site. Under the extremely hot weather, Everyone wished that the water outage recovers as soon as possible and hoped everything would get back to normal for the people of 6,500 households at Yoshida and Mima area. Water quality was inspected by the municipality. Mima's water treatment facilities has completed in only 14 days and in Yoshida, it took 15 days.
The water reached the whole city of Yoshida and Mima area. It took 28 days to recover the whole water supply after the disaster. Thank <laughs> you.